was just finishing up decorations. I just need to set up the most important thing. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Ghidorah would soon be there. The dragonets were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of gravity bolts danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes would appear, but a free-headed dragon with two tails at the rear. My absolute excitement so lively I were, I knew in a moment it must be Ghidorah. More rapid than Rodan his mighty shape came, and he roared and shouted and called out a name. Owie, Dasher, and Dancer, and Prancer, and Wixen, eat Comet, eat Cupid, eat Donner, and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, or I might eat all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the house top the titan he flew, with his sleigh full of toys, and cackling too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the stomping and storming of both giant claws. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney Ghidorah came with a bound. He cared not for clothes, from his head to his foot, and his wings were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his back. His eyes, how they twinkled, his horns, how merry. His claws were like hooks, his snout the size of a fairy. His droll little mouth was sharp like a bow, and the teeth in his jaws were as white as the snow. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his wings aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He leapt to the skies, his voice like a whistle, and away he then flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he flew out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, it's you. Just ignore that.